Hello and welcome back. This is going to be the first video in a series of videos on how to use SketchUp Make, which is a program that you can use to sketch up and kind of design um, projects, just about anything really, but in this case, I'm going to apply it to uh, woodworking and building uh, specifically. So first here, we're, in this video, we're going to start off with just the install, how to get SketchUp Make and install it. Um, SketchUp Make is free um, to use and uh, can easily be downloaded and installed so I'm going to go through that right now. So first if you just do a quick search in Google, SketchUp Make, even the word download, and then the first link that comes up on Google will be the download for SketchUp Make. And you just tell it what you're using it for. I'm just going to use it for personal projects. You need to put your email address in there, which I can just have automatically filled out, but you just put your email address in there. You can not have them send you news and tips. Um, I choose not to, just because I get enough email as it is. And this here, you fill in what your interest is or your profession, and I'm just going to choose woodworking. You choose the platform you are installing it for, and this tutorial is going to be for Windows because that's all I use. You agree to the SketchUp Makes license agreement. Click download SketchUp Make. The download will begin and it depending on your internet speed it could go pretty quickly or it could take a while. My internet speed is 100 megabits per second and it looks like the download is going to be about 35 seconds. So depending on whether you're using, I'm using Google Chrome here, but if you're using Internet Explorer or Firefox, the download is going to look a bit different. In Internet Explorer, usually a window will pop up and in Firefox there is a little arrow up in the corner that you'll see that will show up. Um, a little down arrow, you click on that and you'll see your download and then you just double click on it. And in Chrome, when you see the download finished, you'll see the timer stops. When that happens, you just click on it. You only have to click on it one time. And that will initiate the installer for SketchUp Make. And SketchUp will work a lot better if you have a more modern, newer computer, say something within the past few years. An older computer, um, there's a chance it may not run at all, but with uh, anything, at least within the past few years, you, you should have no trouble. So then you just click Next on this first screen, it's just welcome you to SketchUp Make. Um, leave the path as the default. And then it just says here, you're ready to install. Simply click on Install. And the installation usually doesn't take very long. And you'll just be looking for the progress bar to grow across until it's finished. And I will be doing more videos on SketchUp probably at least once a week, maybe more. So the Installation is completed. You just click finish here and you can close your internet browser and you just got to click on SketchUp 2017. So I agree to the license agreement, which yes, we've already done during the installation, but it's asking again. And then here you're going to get this every time you can buy SketchUp Pro. Um, I researched it myself and it doesn't appear that you get any additional features really. I think. Um, a lot of it has to do with how you're using it but and here I just click usually on start using SketchUp there are templates and, and things you can choose from I've never chosen anything other than the default which is basically a standard simple template with feet and inches but normally you could just click on start using SketchUp and it will open up to the basic simple feet and inches template and that is it that's the install in the initial launch of SketchUp Make 2017. If you have any questions about this, um, if your scenario comes up to be a bit different or anything like that, you can definitely feel free to throw a comment in the comment section below asking any questions you'd like. 
I do IT work for a living, so if it's even something related to your computer, there's a chance I might be able to help you out. Um, and as usual, I appreciate you watching the video. Uh, I hope you'll join me on the next series, uh, next videos for the SketchUp series. And if you have a specific project or thing in mind that you'd like to see built in SketchUp, I can do a video on designing that particular thing and if it's something that you like um, when I do release that video you can put a comment in the comment section and, and I'll actually send you the plan once it's once it's finished so um, again thanks for watching if you have any questions comments concerns or anything that you'd like me to address again throw that in the comments below if you like this video please hit the like button that helps out the channel a lot and at the same time if you want to see more of these videos definitely hit that subscribe button because when I put more videos out you'll be notified as long as you hit that bell icon and then just check the box to say notify when you know the youtuber puts out new videos and that is it for this video I hope you followed along and I hope everything went smooth for you and I will see you on the next video